Princess Kate's Nanny Maria's Daily Duties with George, Charlotte, and Louis. The Prince and Princess of Wales, Spanish Nanny Maria Teresa Turian Borrello joined the family back in 2014 when Prince George was eight months old. Ten years on, Maria is still working for William and Kate, helping them take care of their three children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. While the children are now at school much of the week at Berkshire's prestigious Lambrook, there is still much to be done with the young royals out of school hours. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Gone are the days of nappy changes and weaning, now we imagine Maria will be spending her days juggling the trio's activities and homework schedules. Luena told us about a Norland nanny's role in a family with school-age children. A Norland nanny's role changes as their charge grows, although you don't become less busy. She revealed. With children at school during the day you are required to organize school pickups and plan logistics of the different pickup times due to after-school sports and clubs. Organization is key for making each child has a filling breakfast, fueling them for a busy day at school. And remembering to send the children into school each day in the right uniform or sports kit. She refers to children's uniforms, telling us, Children of this age are growing rapidly and will go through sudden growth spurts. A nanny's job is to make sure all clothes and shoes fit correctly and are labeled accordingly, our sewing lessons at college cover this. Planning nutritional evening meals to satisfy hungry children is an important part of our role. Liaising with school menus and planning ahead to make sure they don't have fish pie for lunch and dinner. The job is about caring for each child as an individual, and this approach influences the daily schedule, reveals Luena. Each child has individual characters and personalities and as a nanny our job is to plan activities which engage our little ones, she explains. This might be letting off steam playing football, or setting up an art activity. A nanny will be expected to support each child with their homework and make it as fun and interesting as possible. Depending on how each individual child learns, we might set up a homework station in the garden or in an indoor den, to stop boredom and resistance setting in. Being a support, and alliance to your charge is increasingly important as the children grow into young adults. Car journeys usually prove a great place to become a listening ear so you understand what your charge is finding difficult at school or what they are particularly enjoying. Teaching children to do things for themselves, is a key principle for a Norland nanny, and we expect Maria Borrello may work this way in the Wales household. Luena says, promoting independence is part of our role, teaching our charges to take responsibility and use their initiative by praising these actions is key for a child's self-esteem. It can be as simple as making their bed in the morning or learning to make scrambled eggs for breakfast. We become their teachers and it's more important that we teach these skills than just do the tasks ourselves. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing the joy in a little one's face when they've achieved a task that they couldn't once do. Princess Kate is nothing short of a royal style icon. Since she joined the royal family in 2011, the Princess of Wales, 42, has been the ultimate one to watch when it comes to British royal fashion. Aside from her plethora of stylish daytime looks ranging from power suits to laid-back trainers worn to community-based public engagements, Prince William's wife possesses an unrivaled ability to rock a royal heirloom, tiara historic and widely documented occasions. But there is a secret rule that the future queen must follow when it comes to tiara wearing and it is an area of protocol that has flown under the radar. Tiaras are only to be worn in the evening. It goes against royal protocol for Princess Kate or for any permitted royal tiara wearer to sport the glistening headwear in the daytime. This means that even the most important of events that happen during the day call for other accessories to adorn the royal's pristine updos, whether that be a hat, fascinator, or headband.